Whatever grass you are providing for your horse, it's really important to choose the right type. Grasses come in many different forms, and this enables us to construct seed mixes to produce good grazing, as well as others for hay or silage. Ryegrass swards are most commonly used for grazing. Ryegrass is quick to establish, and when grown with other grasses such as fescue and timothy, can make good, durable swards. Non-ryegrass swards are often sown for ponies that are prone to laminitis, and are suitable for native breeds as they are lower in sugar. They are also slower to establish than ryegrass, but very dense and persistent when up and running. Herbs can be included in grazing mixes, as they have high contents of vitamins and minerals compared to the grasses. Horses and ponies prone to laminitis should always be monitored carefully when grazing grass. This is particularly true on sunny, frosty mornings when the problem seems worse. Whilst no seed mix can be guaranteed to eliminate laminitis, there is considerable experience to suggest that ryegrass should be avoided where animals are prone to it. There will be times in the year when your grass gets damaged. The main causes are poaching in the winter and the inevitable damage that we cause by allowing horses to remain grazing an area for too long. However, it is easy to repair by sowing seed that grows rapidly. For most horses, ryegrass is used as it is quick, reliable and cheap. Non-ryegrass mixes can also be oversown and are especially suitable for laminitics. Seed can be sown as the soil warms up in the spring. It works best in open swards, especially if you can get some loose soil with a harrow. Seed can then be sown and pressed in with a roller. Seed drills such as the Moore's Uni drill can also be used. Autumn is another time to sow seeds to improve your grass. Whenever you decide to sow, there will need to be some rain to get the new seeds to germinate and your horses will have to be removed for a month or so to allow the new seeds to establish. Light grazing for the rest of the year makes a big difference to success. The cost of overseeding is relatively low at around a third of the cost of traditional reseeding and so offers an economical alternative to the plough. Grass swards can also produce hay. Most hay is produced by professional farmers and they prefer to use Italian ryegrass. This is a two-year crop that produces hard, coarse hay ideal for hard-working animals, especially racehorses. It may, however, be a bit rich for the good doers. For these, Hay from old, species-rich meadows may be more suitable. Hay is also produced from specialist crops such as lucerne, also known as alfalfa, and from sanfoin. In the past, both of these crops were used to produce hay for the equine market. Currently in the UK, the amount of sanfoin and lucerne grown is low. This may be set to change as the latest science shows the many benefits of these deep-rooting plants. Being leguminous, they fix nitrogen into the soil, making them cheap to grow but it is from an animal nutrition and health point of view that these crops are of more interest. Sanfoin in particular is a natural wormer, an anthelmintic, which is likely to be of increasing interest to us all in the future.